What up guys, it's your boy Dev1 and today I'm going to teach you how to ditch your NPC if you're on the go with your laptop and use one of these. Let's go. Okay, so the first thing you'll notice is that you have your early block here. If you're running Mac OS 10.10 .10 or above, then you don't need to use this with a cable plugged in. But I'm still running 10.9.5 on this computer for several reasons, and I'm going to plug it in to get the MIDI to work on this. All right, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to Rolly's website and download the Rolly Dashboard app and any other sounds that you might have for Equator. That's the software that comes along with it, so you can use it as a virtual instrument inside of your program. But most importantly, the dashboard, because we're going to set this up in a MIDI map mode. So once you have your dashboard downloaded, let's go ahead and launch your dashboard. And what it's going to ask you for is for you to plug something in. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to plug in this rolly block, like so. And the first thing it shows you is, hey, I'm charging. I'm going to turn it on now. And once it turns on, it defaults to the last known map that it was on. So on our screen here, we have it set up under drum block, which is what we want. Now we can click on edit. And under edit, what we're going to want to do is we're going to create this new one. So we're going to go four by four single channel. Okay. And as you can see on here, it changed. And what we're going to want to do is we're going to make sure we go through these settings and we can see everything is there. We don't want to send the glide. We don't want to send the slide. And we want it on single channel and on one, which is where we're at. Now we can change the colors in a little bit, but for now we're going to leave it as is. So now that we have that set up under single channel, I'm going to go ahead and open up our MPC app. Go ahead and make that go full screen. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go up to where it says NPC. We're going to go to Preferences, and we're going to pick MIDI. And we're going to make sure under our MIDI we see the light pad block, and we click that. And we're going to say OK. Now that we have that picked, we're ready to go into Learn mode. We're going to go to MIDI Learn. We're going to enable this. We're going to click on Learn. And we're on pad one. If it's not highlighted right here, you want to make sure that it is. And you're going to click that. And it's on pad one. And the same thing goes on for all the rest. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, so on and so forth. So all of them are active. Now we can turn off learn. And as you can see, they're triggering. So let's get right into it. Let's load up something from one of Akai's preset packs. Let's load up a trap kit. That's a cool one. All right, and now Just like that, your pads are mapped out. You could take this with you 
if you don't feel like taking your actual MPC with you and use this directly with the software, this is much more portable and fun to play with. Alternatively, instead of manually setting everything up, you could do this with the pre-made maps that I included in the description below. What you need to do is download that file, then unzip it, and you'll have this folder. Double click the folder to open it, you'll see these items. Click on the README first, it's going to give you detailed instructions. So it tells us to open our dashboard and click on drum block, then edit. So drum block is selected, then we click edit. Next, go to toolbar, click file, save as, name it MPC Live. File, save as, MPC Live. We're going to go to create mode. Now we should see MPC Live down here. All right. Now for Mac users, just drag the Rolly Lightpad block to the MPC MIDI Learn. Let's close out of that. We're going to click Authenticate. It may ask you for your password. And we're going to take this MPC Live mode and we're going to go to the Rolly Drum Block Little Foot mode and we're going to hit replace and now when we open up our dashboard if we go to edit now in here we're going to see our MPC live and as you can see different color scheme and you're all set to use so now we have to go into our MPC now, if you had MPC open, we're going to make sure we're on global. And under our MIDI options, we're going to click here. We're going to hit refresh. We're going to click enable. We're going to click here. And now under user, we should see Rolly light block. And now under Rolly light block, All of it's mapped out, and it's just that simple, guys. So download the file in the description below. Enjoy. Anyway, guys, any questions, comments, leave them below. Please make sure you subscribe, and if you haven't already, hit that notification bell so you can receive notifications when we go live in the future and when we upload new vids. I want to keep more content coming, so please support hit that thumbs up if you like these videos we definitely appreciate all your support so show some love be part of the next evolution of music and get yourself over to the audiobank.com sign up we're gonna have a ton of new stuff for you shortly once again it's your boy dev one and this video is brought to you by the audiobank.com peace